Hey guys, Ish Patel from Ish Network here, and um, today I'll be talking about a feature Google silently slipped into Android in the Android 5.0.1 update. It was a very subtle move, they didn't really announce anything big, but this was one of the biggest features they released, and it was the on-body detection smart lock. And this is available in any Android device running Android Lollipop 5.0.1 minimum. Anything above that, you'll have the um, lock enabled. So, in this video, I'll be showing you what the lock is, how to get to it, what it does, and essentially how to set it up and use it on your own devices, whether it be a stock Android device, as my Nexus 7 right here, or an OEM skinned Android device, such as my Galaxy Note 4. So without further ado, let's get started with this video and its tutorial, along with a brief explanation. Quickly show you guys how to activate the smart on body detection lock on both OEM manufactured devices and stock Android devices right there. First, let's start off with the OEM device. As you can see, when I first open up the phone, it asks me to enter in my passcode, in this case a pattern, to access the phone. And now, go into the device settings, scroll all the way down to security. Now, when you're at security, make sure you go to the advanced section, and under the advanced section, you'll see a tab called trust agents. Tap on that and under trust agents originally you will see smart lock by Google turned off. So what you want to do is toggle that on. If you hit the back key under security it varies but it's usually somewhere in this page. Um, you will see the smart lock right there. So what you want to do is tap that, enter in your passcode and by default, all this will be turned off, so just to give you a feel for how it looks. So when you start off, it's going to look like this. So what you want to go is go to on body detection, turn it on, and it will tell you it uses the device's accelerometer to detect whether it's being held or not. And if not, then it's going to lock the device. If it's being held, then it will keep the device open so you could easily access your device. Hit OK. Go back back again, back again, back again. And um, to ensure that this works, make sure that your lock screen type is set to something other than just swipe or none. Um, that way you ensure that it actually works. So I'm gonna turn off my device and uh, as you can see, I'm free to enter my device as I please right now because the lock is you know detecting that it's in my hands so that's essentially what's happening right there now let's put this off to the side and let it figure out that it's not being held to activate the lock while I use a stock Android device to show you guys how it works on this so same drill go into the settings and then after going to the settings select security under security, scroll all the way down. Under advanced, you'll see trust agents. So what you want to do is um, turn on the toggle for the smart lock. Again, same drill. Um, go back and then what you want to do is in stock Android, it's up here in screen security, you'll see smart lock. Select that, enter in your passcode or pattern, whatever you set it to, and turn on body detection on again just on your other devices so again same thing you can see um, it lets me log into the device immediately without any further you know clutter because it detects that it is in my hand and uh, this should have been enough time for the phone to realize right there that I am not actually using it so um, 
as you can see, boom. It figures it out that I am actually not, you know, it's not in my hand. Turns on the lock again to prevent, you know, any theft or security issues, and voila. Now you have on-body detection. That's basically it guys, how on-body detection works and how to enable it on your Android 5.0.1 Lollipop powered devices. I'm Ish Patel from Ish Network. Hope you like this video. Um, please hit that big subscribe button right there. I have more content to come. Um, quite a few exciting things this, th things this week, including the Galaxy S6 Edge coming in. So hopefully you'll look forward to that um, in this coming week. So I'm Ish Patel. I'm out.